Congress is investigating media company mergers. Executives from Viacom and Paramount testified Wednesday that a merger of TCI and Bell Atlantic should be blocked. They claim TCI is already too powerful. TCI owns interests in 25 cable networks and 16 regional sports channels. Senator Bob Carey endorsed the merger, saying it would push technology forward. The Miramax Pictures film, Into the West, opened to critical praise, but disappointing audiences. After initially marketing it as a family movie, Miramax has taken the unusual step of changing its strategy. Amy Powell has a story. Can we have some tea? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. The movie tells the story of two Irish city kids who become contemporary cowboys when they rescue a magical horse and take off on an adventure. Michael Jordan is the latest celebrity to tell his story to the talk show host, Oprah Winfrey. When you do something that people, uh, take people by shock, mm -hmm. first thing you're going to do is start to speculate. You know that. I mean, it just happens in this business. Uh, On Friday's show, Jordan discusses his surprise retirement from basketball and denies he quit because of gambling problems. The former Chicago Bull says he planned to retire after the Bulls won their third straight championship last season. He also talks about the recent murder of his father. Scott Bale is back in a new television series. This time, he's sharing top billing with a TV veteran from a different generation. Where's Dr. Sloan? I can't get through to his office. He's around here somewhere. Oh, my God. He's supposed to be dead. Check his vital signs. We're heading for a second opinion right now, Norman. Mayo and Dick Van Dyke co-star in Diagnosis Murder. They play hospital doctors who moonlight as detectives solving medical-related crimes. The backstory is that I get, I get caught breaking into the hospital pharmacy when I was a little boy, and the guy who busts me is Dick Van Dyke's character named Mark, Mark Sloan. And he takes a liking to me, and he goes to bat for me in court, and he, and he lets me do community service in his hospital. And I, in turn, I start liking the you know, medical process. And uh, he puts me through school. Eight episodes have been completed. If the ratings are good, Bayo expects CBS will order more. The series airs Friday. Coming up on E! News Daily, Madonna is making enemies in Puerto Rico. And Pearl Jam is making music history. We'll explain when we come back. In a London court Thursday, George Michael testified his record label deliberately killed his album, Listen Without Prejudice. Michael says Sony wanted to teach him a lesson because he refused to appear in music videos promoting the album. He's suing Sony to get out of his contract. Madonna's concert in Puerto Rico had fans walking away, wanting their money back. Some ticket holders say they were turned away from the Girly Show concert Tuesday night. They were told seats were no longer available. For those who did see the show, Madonna allegedly wiped off her sweat with a Puerto Rican flag and then used it as a prop for an obscene gesture. One political figure is urging the government to file charges. HBO subscribers will be able to see Madonna's Girly Show next month. The cable channel will telecast her concert from Sydney, Australia on November 20th. There's one band you'll be hearing a lot about in the next few weeks, Pearl Jam. Hits Magazine's David Adelson tells us why. The reality of Pearl Jam's first week in the stores actually exceeded the hype. You may remember last week's E! News Week in Review when we wondered how many copies of Versus Pearl Jam would sell in its first week.